this line today, Heavenly Father. Lord God, I thank you, Lord God, for every woman on this line, Heavenly Father. I'm asking, Lord God, that you will allow every woman, Lord God, that has doubt in today to be blessed, Heavenly Father, to leave, Lord God, full, Lord God, and encouraged and motivated, Lord God, with a new hope, oh God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. These are your daughters, Heavenly Father. Hallelujah, Lord God. Lord God, we surrender, Lord God, right now, Lord God, before your presence, Lord God, before your throne. We surrender, Heavenly Father, our minds, our God, our ears, our hearts. Heavenly Father, everything concerning us, Lord God, we lift it up before you right now in the name of Jesus and ask you, Lord God, to transform us, Heavenly Father. Create a, a clean heart within us, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Us, Lord God, crucify our ears today, Heavenly Father, that we may hear with us, says the Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Okay, ladies, how are you all doing? Everyone good? Yes. Jarvi, before you get started, who, who was singing that song? Martha Manuzzi. Okay, yeah. Okay. Uh... No limits. That's the the um. Oop, you it didn't hold on. It's the No Limits album. Looks like this. See it, pow. Okay, so it is good to finally be here. We are coming from this. So. I hope y'all have your books so you can follow along. <sighs> Today we are covering the spirit of jealousy. Shantae started, started us off with the spirit of divination and the familiar spirit. And today I am going to go in on the spirit of jealousy. What is that ringing? That's your phone? Okay, that's Keenan's watch. Okay, so I'm going to read a little bit of the first paragraph in chapter three. Jealousy along with pride is probably the oldest the sin in the universe. They exist even, they, they existed even before our earth as we know it was created. Lucifer was perfect, beautiful, and occupied the highest standing among God's created beings, but he became jealous of God. Jealousy is mentioned by name in Numbers 5.14. Skipping down, later God recreated our present world and placed Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. He longed to have fellowship on a daily basis with the world's first couple. A beautiful atmosphere of love and unity pervaded the garden until Satan entered the picture. He came to hate, okay? Adam and Eve sinned, breaking the, the cord of fellowship with God. And soon they had to adjust to a different environment outside the garden. So when I was reading this, the first thing that came to my mind was, yes, Satan hated. He, he comes to steal, kill, and destroy. He knew that he had messed it up for himself. He was, he was no longer in position like he was once before. So from that day, he showed us what he was all about. He came with jealousy, the spirit of jealousy. He knew that he couldn't commune with God anymore the way that he once did. So his job is to make sure that he um, inputs these seeds in us so that we break the, the fellowship of us and God is broken too. And that's why we have all these demonic spirits that we are exposing through this book. Um, I took notes. Y'all beware. Okay, I'm going to anoint this, this book today. So when I think of jealousy, um, the first thing that came to my spirit was insecurity, um, a broken spirit, selfishness, ungratefulness, no thanksgiving. Jealousy creates a blindness to God's truth. 
so with the spirit of jealousy you know it comes murder jealousy of course revenge spite anger rage strife hatred extreme competition cruelty causing divisions contention envy those are some of the things that are attached to this this root jealousy is the root um competitive never enough void these are some things to look for those things that i just listed off i'll, I'll repeat them if you're taking notes insecurity a broken spirit selfishness ungrate to be ungrateful no thanksgiving competitive never enough there's voids there's voids there um i have so many scriptures i'm not going to read all of them i'll read the first First, I'm going to start off at Psalms 139, verse 24. It reads, See if there is any offensive way in me, and lead me in the way of ever, uh, everlasting. Second Chronicles, verse 7. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sins and heal their land. The next one is Colossians 3, verse 15. Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, since as members of one body you were called to peace and be thankful. Romans 8. Romans 8 verse 28 and we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him who have been called according to his purpose okay the rest you guys can just write uh Proverbs 27 4 Okay, I'll read this one to you guys. Proverbs 27, verse 4. I think this is what it is. Anger is cruel and fury, overwhelming, but who can stand before jealousy? We have Galatians 5, 19 through 21, Mark 7, 20 through 22, 2 Corinthians 12, 20, 1 Corinthians 3, verse three um and then let's talk about godly jealousy really quick godly jealousy is um mentioned in exodus 20 4 through 5 jeremiah 10 6 through 7 second kings 22 verse 17 and i'll stop that's that sounds overwhelming it's a lot of scriptures i'll post them later on for those of you who are interested but i have a note here to read something let me see Okay, if you go down in the book, murder is highlighted. The Bible says that Cain was very angry and his covenant, his continence fell. Um, this is mentioned in Genesis 4, verse 5. People who will not control their anger open themselves up to a strong man of jealousy. Anger is listed here. Okay, so jealousy causes us to think about ourselves. There's no love for others, if only about ourselves. We can't see past ourselves. Jealousy is in the church. We're mad at people's gifts. We can't do, I mean, it, we think that we can do better than them. This is signs that you have this spirit operating in you. And today it's 
No one's here for support. No one's here because their sister, you know, said tune in. Every lady on this line today is here because God um, wants to do some things within all of us. Every single last one of us. Um, yeah, so I just, I have a lot of notes. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to read any more scriptures because it's just, it's, I wrote a lot of scriptures down. I was going to just start off just listing all of the scriptures because the scriptures back up everything that I kind of talk about in my notes. But like I said, I'll go back and um, post them in our group. Um, we're mad at people's gifts. We, we think that we can do better. We say that that should have been me. Uh, we can't receive from people that ha God has placed over us. Um, we judge everything they say. We're in competition and we want to scream out everything we know. I have um, experienced this countless times. I have experienced this operating in this spirit. Hi, Tanita. We're broken. That that sign that your spirit is broken. And like I list, like I said at the beginning, um, these are like the open doors to the spirit of jealousy, insecurity, a broken spirit, selfishness, ungrateful, no thanksgiving, competitive, never enough. And a, a lot of these things are um, things that we had in us when we were children. Um, a lot of these seeds, they have been here since we were children. And um, God wants us to deal with these things today. Um, if you don't know where to start, the, the best place to start is just through confessing. Confessing that these things are present. I am feeling these emotions, you know. Um, yeah. People's accomplishments are our motivation. I'm going to hit this goal to show everyone I'm better than X, Y, Z. This fruit in our hearts has to be cast down every time it rises up or it will rule over us. It's time to throw this thing up, literally. Let's talk about cruelty really quick. Have you ever been in a setting where someone is being acknowledged and in the midst of family and friends and there's someone in the room that yells out or whispers out moments, thoughts, or actions that prove why they shouldn't be at the point of focus at the moment? That's jealousy. All those little side jokes. It's funny because like all of this I can, I can relate to. All of this I can relate to. Like everything's funny, but like when it comes down to like really giving people praise and honor, it's it's hard to do. But when it comes to, um, you know, it's just it's just hard to do that. You know, when when you're insecure, it the focus has to be on you, and that is the spirit of jealousy. Always negative and finding ways to bring others down. That's the spirit of jealousy. Um, when I wrote that little part down, God like gave me a vision just of like parents, like um, this was kind of hard to talk about. God, I'm gonna say expose these things. Um, a lot of us have experienced parents who never have anything nice to say. Um, it's always correction. It's always um, judgment. It's always some form of negative negativity. Um, this is the spirit of jealousy being revealed. And a lot of us on this line are operating in the spirit of jealousy in, in, in some shape or form. And, and some of us have fallen victim to the spirit of jealousy and God wants to restore all of us. Um, when you are dealing with people who have the spirit of jealousy on them, 
they literally, they're used to break your spirit. And in a broken spirit, you become insecure. And the only way for a person to become insecure is if they do not know their identity. We talk about identity a lot in this group. God actually had us, the leaders in this group, on um, identity uh, a few weeks back where we had to literally like, you know, go live and share with one another who God said we are. And, you know, I want to, I want to charge you all with that. Every lady that's on the line um, today with that assignment as well. Take some time out today or before this weekend ends and really seek the Lord on your identity. I'm not saying he going to speak today. You know, there's our identity is, is hidden in the word, but God will begin to share things with you outside of what you already may know about yourself. It is important for you to know who you are. Children, you know, we have some of us, we have children or all of us, we have children in our midst. And that's like the focus point for me, you know, having small children, children, period. I am... I'm asking them, who are you? You know, do you know your purpose? Because that's important. You don't want to see, you know, um, anybody struggling with identity. You, you, it's just crazy. It's like every day putting a mask on or putting on a costume and you're just trying to figure out which one fits. But the whole time you look like Sally the Clown, you look crazy. Um, extreme competitive com competition. Oh, such and such just started a new business, but so can I. I have a bigger following than her. Oh, she's going live, so will I. How many tuned in to her video? How many reposted her video or even commented on her video? I'm going to get way more. Like these things, I was writing these things. I was like, God, these things sound like so childish. But it that's the spirit. It's like that's the spirit. It's it's so crazy. Like when God just starts to reveal it, it it sounds really crazy. But these are the things that they 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 lie in our heart. Some dormant, some present, you know, some active daily, and you know, it's just embarrassing to to say. But hey, all of us on this line can relate. We we all have this in common, and God wants us to surrender that today today um this this spirit will dictate your whole life this looks like no identity you don't know who you are or, or your purpose you can't even clap for people without making it about you somehow matthew 20 verse 1 through 16 i'm not reading it i just listed it off I don't have a problem with you getting blessed just as long as I'm always to be in higher position than you. Somehow, some way. I don't have a problem with you getting blessed. I don't have a problem with increase coming your way. But once it starts to look like my little thing that I've been exalting because I got boys and, and I'm holding on to things to build me up and make me feel insecure, even though it's just an empty Bottom, bottomless pit that just things don't fulfill it those things don't fulfill it it's the truth as long as i feel like i'm always above you you're fine but once i start to feel like oh you're creeping on my street or you have surpassed me in a way i have a problem with that now let me see real quick if i wrote this down so to talk about that real quick that's the same spirit that um, deceives us. And we be like, you know what? So once she got that promotion, she start acting funny. Or it'd it be like this. <laughs> she got her boobs done. She start acting funny. She didn't start answering her calls. And the whole time it wasn't, it wasn't her boobs. She just got done. It's the fact that you feel insecure about your body. And now that she has some little confidence, we ain't knocking that, even though she has some confidence 
towards, you know, what she just got done, it makes you feel some type of way because insecurity. Whatever area you're insecure about, whenever you see somebody being secure in that area, they become the enemy. Oh, um, such and such, she she got pregnant. Um, she just had her baby. Lord knows I, I'm, you know, I'm waiting to have my first kid. Oh, she just don't have time for me. Now she got her little family and we just went our separate ways. Um, we grew apart. No, you didn't. Jealousy is there. You cannot celebrate your sister now or even your cousin or your sister because you are insecure because of the area, you know, that area, it, uh, it confronts that void in you. God wants that from us. He wants that from us. No one can go farther than me. You will always be held back while operating like that. That spirit got Satan kicked out of heaven. God would not exalt a murderer. So in, um, in these branches, list, list it off underneath jealousy, we have murder. And we, we, we read briefly about Cain and um, how he was not his brother's keeper. He had no time for none of that. He was mad. What he offered up wasn't good enough. And he was in his brother's business. And that was just that. Yes, some of us um, have not physically murdered anyone. But let's be real, real quick. Gossiping is murdering. You are murdering the character of your sisters. You are murdering the character of your brothers because this thing doesn't have a gender. It comes for whoever exposes it. Whoever makes it feel a certain type of way, you can get this too. Murder. Murder. That's murder. I know I, I talked about this in here. I don't think some stuff made it to my notes. But yeah, God forgive us for being murderers. Um, it's really bad. Hatred. Um, it's crazy because Satan, he is so deceiving. He's so, so, so deceiving. Like these, once one is present, like, okay, I, did, I deal with the spirit, spirit of jealousy, but if the spirit of jealousy is present, so is pride, so is a whole lot of stuff. Like, they're all cousins. So you can go your way if you want. You can live way over there in Missouri, and your other cousin can live way over there, but you guys will always be linked. If one is present, you are available and open for all types of demonic spirits to come in and have its way. And I thought about the perverse spirit. Um, we, we get so like bothered and so offended when we hear it just it, it's just a horrible feeling when we hear about the things that that, that that they're talked about on the news. Oh, this man, he's in the neighborhood and he's snatching kids and women and or anybody and he's molesting them. But that same perverse spirit is the same spirit that leads us into um, masturbating. It's the same one that, you know, has us looking um, at you know, all types of different pictures, like there, yes, it's levels to it, but if the spirit is present, the spirit is present. We're talking about the spirit of jealousy today though, right? Hate is there. We have um, a lot going on in our world today. And the topic at hand is the hate that we see in the world today. Most of us have experienced it. Having, you know, brown skin, um it is what it is but at the end of the day those of us who have dealt with this spirit we're struggling with the same spirit that we are watching on the news people kneeing on people's necks and killing them because of hate murder jealousy 
the root is jealousy. It's the same spirit. It's the same spirit. Like there's no separating it. It, it is what it is. We're like picking it and we're like, oh, okay, I'm gonna fit this into my identity. And you know, I'm a I'm I'm um caddy, I'm a girl, you know, that's what we do. That's not what we do, that's not what we've been called to. And the issue is we don't wanna be broken. Whenever we're challenged to come out of familiar areas, we run. We say, oh, okay, God, I'm a fast today. But, oh, I started smelling chicken or whatever. Now I'm challenged because we submit too much to this flesh. And that's why we, we barely see victory. We barely see victory because we don't want to be broken. But today, we're going to be broken. We're going to be broken today. Now... said god will not exalt a murderer you're waiting for some things to happen i'm waiting on a promotion i'm waiting on this but sis your character is trash just because people don't they're not in your home there's no camera and you're not being recorded but god is listening to those phone calls right <laughs> we get on live we're anointed we're gifted we know the word of god but our character is trash. It is. And God knows it. God knows it. And he's not, he's, he, he's, he's not finna exalt you. I mean, we've, we've seen evil people be exalted, but it doesn't lead to good things. It always leads to destruction, but that's not the will of God for us because we are taking part in some evil things. You know, we're in covenant with God, but we, we are taking part in some evil things, but, but there's a way out for us. You understand there's a difference. The spirit of jealousy will use you to bring forth division. Have we been the cause of division? I know I've been the cause of division. I know I've been the cause of division. I, I thought about me and uh, one of my friends. It's not funny, but it's, it's crazy. Like we were like, we were in elementary school. It, we had three best, it was three of us, but it was it was always just two of us. So it'll it'll either be me and my friend Fan or me and my friend Window. And and you know what? I, I may have been a problem because they they never went against me. It was always me and Fan going against Window or me and Window going against Fan, causing division. Okay, we're all three best friends, but yet if I'm not around because I'm insecure, it just can't go down. So when I would come around, division had took place because I wasn't a little girl that was being built up and told about godly, you know, um, character and, you know, who you are. That, that just, it wasn't my story, you know. And because of that today, you know, I can say, hey, this spirit of jealousy is a familiar place for me. Okay. Now we hear this one a lot. She thinks she's cute. She thinks she all that. They act like everything is perfect. The grass may seem green, but, but it's fake. Why? Okay, let, let's just go back. She thinks she's cute. No, you know she's cute. She has the confidence because she knows she's cute, but you're bothered because you don't believe that you're cute. So now you're jealous. And your testimony is, I can't stand women. I don't get along with women. I only get along with men. And you're out of order, okay? You're, you're out of order. And it's time to deal with that thing because Satan has came to cause divisions amongst us. No more. No moss. They act like everything is perfect. And, and I've heard people literally encourage other married people with this statement. Hey, they, it may seem, you may look on social media and they're posting these pictures and this and that. That's not your business. 
That's not your business. If your marriage is in shambles right now, the focus is to focus on God and focus on the issues at hand. Not to look around and find fault in other people so that you feel comfortable that you're not alone. That's a distraction. That's a distraction. It is. Who cares if their grass is fake? Who cares if their grass is greener? Clap for them. Hey, sis, I need your help. That's why you shouldn't be divided. That's why you need friends. That's why healthy friendships are important. Because guess what, sis? You got the juice. I know you got the juice because you walk around confident. Girl, you confident. And I, I need to be real and be like, look, my confidence is shaking right now. Um, I need to link with other women who are confident right now so that they can build me up. That's why we need one another. That's why healthy friendships are important. Yes, they're important. Yes, I'm an awesome person by myself, but I go farther with you guys. I go farther with you guys. There's parts of me that are revealed through my relationship with you guys because iron sharpens iron. Spoken of that division that the enemy has came and played off of. No, that's not my testimony. I am open to new friends. Yes, these songs come out and and, and because we don't we, we don't know who we are and we're struggling with our identity, we cling to these songs. No new friends. Let me tell you something. I'm going to always be open to new friends. Always. God is always sending people to, to, to add to me. He's always sending people to pour into me. Stop being trendy. Trendy going to lead you to hell. Trendy going to have you depleted. Trendy going to have you in bondage. Know who you are. Jealousy. Why are we focused on everyone else's happiness and glory? Because we lack confidence. We have broken spirits. We have no hope in our situations. To be envious is demonic. The spirit of God can't dwell amongst these fruits. You are not trustworthy operating in the spirit of jealousy. You're not. I don't, I put this little funny thing up today. It was talking about, you know, uh, perfume smells better when you're clean. Okay. Let me tell you something. You can act friendly. You can do all that, you know, all that. But people out here really have discernment. Okay. So yes, you put on a good act, but your spirit is being is is it's being revealed and in the spirit there's an alert this one is not trustworthy i don't care how far in the business you know you, you want to be in and how how available you you always are you know because even that that's that's jealousy too um um, and I'm not, I'm not talking about people with right spirits. I'm talking about, you know, people with the nasty spirits that this spirit has really, really overtaken them. And they're all, they're the friend that's always available for people, but yet they carry the bone. But their motive of always being available for people is so that the highlight is always on them. They always want to hear their name because pride is there too, you know, that puff me up, blow me up. I'm, you call me, I'm, I'm there. And then those, that's the same spirit that's going to be like, but I'm always there and nobody's there for me. Like, get out your flesh. Nasty. This thing got us out here looking deformed like a, a human with a horse body and a cat tail. I don't want to look like that. I ain't looking like that no more. God, we are offering up this thing to you today. Make us trustworthy. There is nothing off limits when you operate in the spirit of jealousy. Nothing at all. You will sleep with your cousin's husband. You, you will steal. You'll, you, you'll be on the stand giving, uh, giving uh, what's that? Testimonies about what people, you, there's nothing off limits. Nothing off limits. Wives can't submit to their husbands because they're jealous of the call and the power that they operate in. 
that one, I was like, I'm going to throw this notebook across this room. Because once again, I had that testimony. Can't submit. Always, my idea is better. No, you don't know what you're talking about. But this man is in position, and God has given him the juice to be the man, the priest of the home, but yet I can't submit. I can't submit because I'm prideful and jealousy and pride, they cousins. So jealousy in there and I'm jealous of the power that he has and jealousy blinds us. And I can't even see the power I have in adding to the power he has. Blinded. Keep going after the roots. God will use this battle to build such a warrior in you a master of warfare. Jealousy will mask itself. Being a go-getter, being a hustler. We, we already talked about the always available friend. A lot of us have our, um, our fuel to be the hustlers and the go-getters because we're influenced by what we're seeing or who's around us and because it's working for them we like well, what if, you know me too like i'm i'm going to do that too cuz i ain't, i ain't going to be the only one that's jealousy you're you're envying that's not even where god has called you and that's why it's not working out that's why you got a book full of ideas talking about god has called me to this but he ain't called you to none of that and it's not working because it's all envy it's all envy i'm going to write a book too i'm going to start my own perfume line too I'm a, I'm gonna do this too. I'm a I'm gonna make clothes too. I, I'm gonna be a makeup artist too. But you can't even put lip liner on without it like coming over here. Like that's that that's crazy. That's crazy. But that's the spirit. That's the spirit. Jealousy will have you missing out on events because you can't find a way to make it about you or you don't want to see the cousin you were best friends with growing up because she has the confidence you can't seem to find and she is always smiling. Division. Divi I, don't, I don't mess with my family like that. Yeah, I just, I, I, they, they not on what I'm on. You jealous. It's jealousy. It's jealousy and it's causing division. You're, you're missing out on so many opportunities to come together and commune with your family like that God has joined you together with and jealousy is keeping you away from the fellowship of your family. Um, jealousies have literally broken up families. A lot of us, we, oh, I don't talk to that cut. We don't deal with a side. And the whole time, you don't even know why your mama got the problem with such and such the whole time it, it kind of was like the joseph story um your your, your grandmother or your great-grandmother may have favored another kid and this thing is just trickling down the line and you oh I, I don't deal with them yeah i can't stand them and that's you you're at war with your family because jealousy has taken root in your mother's heart or your father's heart and you just you just can't yep i'm, I'm adding on to this like have your own mind, be led by the Holy Spirit, know how to pray and cover, know what's going on in your bloodline. Like we, we, ugh. let's stop collecting people's mess and people's trash because jealousy, it collects members. It's a big game. We, the, the jealousy gang, we from such and such street. We collect the members. Like, no, we're not collecting members anymore. We are dealing with our issues. We are choosing to love one another. We are choosing to be broken. We are choosing Christ. We are choosing to be broken. Choosing to be broken. Money, time, and energy has been wasted because of the spirit of jealousy. Money, time, and energy has been wasted because of the spirit of jealousy. We talked about this. Such and such, she started a ministry. I'm going to start a ministry. Because I like how the people flock to her because I want the attention. 
God was like, so many ministries have been started because people are envious. People are jealous. Envy, jealousy. It's not our portion. Um, to bind the spirit of jealousy, we have to lose love, uh, God's love. We have to lose his love. And every time this thing, the uh, competition rises up, every time we feel these different emotions with these things, hatred, you know, we, there should be nothing we hate but the enemy and his schemes. Nothing at all. Nothing. Nothing. Because, you know, we hate how people hate, but yet after so long, we become the very things that we despise. Can't nobody tell me that that's not the truth. There's a scripture in here. I'm going to list it. What, what you despise with a, what you despise, you become. What you hate, you become. We should not hate anything but the enemy. That's it. That's it. Hate shouldn't drive us to hate. It shouldn't. Us as believers, it should literally drive us to our faces. And if you're challenged to be to, 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 to lay on your face in the times that we are in, you got to check your faith. I hear a lot of people saying, look, it's not time to pray. Somebody actually told me that. That's why we've been um, getting murdered and in bondage all these years, because that's all we say. We're going to pray. But the problem wasn't that we said we was going to pray. The problem is that we said we was going to pray and we never prayed. The problem is we don't want to stay in there and we, and, and we don't want to, you know, give God back what he's giving us. It's a lie. It's a lie. Um, we're not trusting God. We're not trusting God with um, who he said. He said we are fearfully and wonderfully made. Like, um, what they say, they be like, put those insecurities or those falls in the hands of a real one. Like, watch what it turn out to be. That's what, that's what they say about like couples. Like, you know, no, put those flaws and those insecurities in the hands of God. And watch what he do. Watch what he do with those insecurities. Like, we need to literally look in the mirror and do the I am statements. I am a child of God. Let me tell you something. Everybody on this line has been called to change the world. I can't change the world the way Mo changed the world. Because if I, if I leave my post and go try to walk in where Mo is at, then my post, I'm off, and then a whole lot falls down when I'm off my post. A whole lot falls down when I'm off my post. We are the change that we are looking for. We're the change that we've been seeking for. God wants to use us, but because we don't want to be broken by God, we are available for things such as the spirit of jealousy to rest, rule, and abide in our hearts. Um, that was it. That was it. That's all I had to say about that. Um, we're going to pray, and then they're going to. Yeah, after you pray, Sharva, I'm going to, um, after you pray, I'm going to, if anybody needs prayer, uh -huh. we can put you in the prayer room. So after Sharva prays, y'all do not get off. Uh, one thing, Sharva, not to take over your lesson. One thing that's really important as we go through these lessons, because this is deliverance, this is cutting. Do not leave before you are sealed out in prayer. So even as Sharva's about to pray to seal this out, because you don't want to go out with an open wound, y'all, because an open wound can get infected. So you want her, you want whoever is leading to be able to close you out in prayer. And then if you need some specific prayer, we will put you in the rooms after that. But never log off before you get prayer, especially in these situations. I just want to make that clear. 
Amen. Um, another thing God wanted me to let you guys know um, that, yes, even though iron sharpens iron and it hurts, the word of God, it does. It, it literally, it, it, it chisels us. It, 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 it causes things to come to death. Literally, it, it feels so uncomfortable, but we're not here and we're not left here. God has allowed these things to be revealed because he wants these things from us. Like we can't go on another day. Have you guys ever smelled an open wound? Have you ever smelled an open wound like death? It's, 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 it smells like death. Like we can't go on another day like this. Um, confession, repentance, confession, repentance. And let me tell you something. It does not end there. It's going to pop up. You're, you're going to go along your day. You're going to see stuff and the spirit is going to see if its room is still available. Can I, can I spend a night? Can I get some water? Can I come in? Knock, knock. I got, can, can I? No, no, you cannot. No, you cannot. Like I said, um, God is building a warrior in us through revealing this thing. We're not defeated. We're not defeated by this thing. But God said all things work together. So, yes. This thing is in me. Yes, my heart tosses and it turns when people surpass the goals that I have for myself. We're, we're, we're acknowledging this and we're confessing it and we're repenting. We're turning around away from this thing. Like I said, the thing will try to pop back, but you have to stand your ground and declare the word of the Lord. We bind the spirit of jealousy and we loose the love of God. Um, Go back in your word and look at what God's love looks like. When you are not operating in those fruits, check it right away. Check it right away. Heavenly Father, we thank you and we just praise you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Your love does this. Your love corrects, Heavenly Father. We thank you that you love us, Lord God. And, and, and you, you, you love us so much that you, you're giving us the opportunity to turn around and away from this nasty spirit that never meant us any good, Heavenly Father. Lord God, I'm asking, Lord God, that just how you reveal this spirit in our, our lives and in our hearts today and in our midst today, Heavenly Father, that there will be no shame, Heavenly Father. Lord God, I thank you that we don't have to wait until we feel the thing lift up, but we can testify now and say, I once was, but now I'm not. Lord God, we're asking that you will give us a new name, Heavenly Father. We don't want to be known as the, the nasty one. We, we don't want to be the one that, 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 that's known to gossip and cause divisions, Heavenly Father. But we want to we wanna come, Lord God, with, with a right spirit, Heavenly Father. And we know that that can only be done, Lord God, by being crucified, by our minds being renewed, by our hearts being transformed, Heavenly Father. So, Lord God, we give you free reign to enter into our hearts, Heavenly Father. Even though it may feel so uncomfortable, we trust you, Lord God, and we give you free reign to come in our hearts, Heavenly Father, and take the things out, Lord God, that mean us no good, and take the things out, Lord God, that comes against your kingdom, Heavenly Father, and what it stands for, Heavenly Father. We no longer, Lord God, want to proclaim you but dishonor you in our hearts. We don't want to proclaim you, but dishonor you in our fellowship, Lord God, in our thoughts towards one another. Jesus, we no longer want to dishonor you in those ways, Heavenly Father. Lord God, we've been nasty. We've been wicked, Heavenly Father. But we're turning away from it today, oh God. And we're saying, God, Jesus, even though the, the light on this thing makes me feel uncomfortable, Lord God, I'm willing to give it to you, Heavenly Father. Jesus. Jesus, I have tried to create who I wanted to be and what looked most appealing. But Lord God, today, I acknowledge that 
anything outside of your purpose and your will for my life, Lord God, has got to go today, Jesus. It has got to go today, Lord God. So, Lord God, have your way in our lives, oh God. We ask for your forgiveness. And, Lord God, we receive your forgiveness, oh God. Lord God, some of us may have to go back and make phone calls and, and make things right. Some of us may have to confess times where we, 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 we sowed seeds of nastiness into those that we claim we love, Heavenly Father. Let us be quick to do that, Lord God, because we want to represent you well, Heavenly Father. And today we thank you for your conviction. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. So if you, um, if you need prayer, if you need some of the leaders to pray for you, please um, raise your hand on the, on the Zoom app. And we can go ahead and get you in a room with the leaders. Okay. Sorry, my daughter clearly doesn't want me on here. Okay. Keep your hands raised, ladies. Okay, I see you, Monisha. Winnie, you should have a, um, a message to go in to a room. Tiff, check your messages too, boo. Shante. Yeah, I just told Tiff to check her messages. Okay. Um, there's two in the room with me, and it's only one leader. Yeah, I'm telling Tiff to join Tiffany. I'm going to text Tiffany. Then they check your messages. You should have a message to go into a group. Okay, so Jasmine and Tanita, if you guys um, did not need any prayer, 
Um, let me just pause and make sure. Did you guys need prayer um, from any of the leaders before we have you close out? I did. I raised my hand. Okay, I missed it. Let me get you oh, in. That's one okay, second. just did, I just figured it out. <laughs> okay, um, and then Tanita, what about you? Did you need prayer? Because I'm probably gonna just have Tanita close out and we stay in here. Tanita, you are muted. Not sure if you needed prayer or not. Nita, yes, I'm here. Okay, did you need prayer, boo? I did. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm moving furniture and then I heard my oh, name. No. So yes. Sorry. No problem. No problem. Um, so we're gonna keep you and Jasmine here together. Um, um, and then Sharva, Dana, and Lily, if you guys want to stay on for prayer, y'all can. If not, you can go ahead and go. I can handle it. Okay. Okay. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead. Is there anything specific, um, Jasmine or Tanita, that you heard today that you wanted prayer for um, before I cover it? Or is there, you know, just something in general? And I will just tell you, just as a um, rule of thumb, is the more specific you can get, the better, because we want to be sure that we pray over the right stuff right um but i know sometimes you know you don't feel necessarily comfortable except especially if it's somebody you don't know um but i want to make sure that if you do feel comfortable that we are very as specific as we can be got it um so for me um i do know that i deal with jealousy um it's something that i've dealt with like as a kid like why do they have boyfriends and i don't like why do the boys like them versus me and it's just always um I don't want to say like I can necessarily compete. Like it's not I'm going out to compete. Like I got to have this, this and that. But when Sharva said like never good enough, I kind of like related to that. Like, okay, like never good enough. Like who am I competing against? Maybe it's an image in my head mm -hmm. or I feel like I should arrive being 38, no kids, not being married, single. So it's like I, I know my sore spot. So for me, um, I, at times when people kind of talk down the singles or feel like they have arrived and I'm like, okay, they were never single. But to me, I'm like, is it rooted from jealousy? Like, am I jealous because I'm not married? But I just know for me, I do deal with jealousy. Okay. Okay. Thank you, sis. Thank you. Um, I would say something similar um, along those lines of just really struggling with insecurity um, and never feeling good enough. And I know some of that stems from childhood. Um, and just, yeah, kind of having those feelings of my life did not go as planned. Um, and so kind of feeling not good enough.